This short video is intended to help anyone get started with Z80 assembly on the Aegon Lite computer. We're going to look at the architecture of the machine, the tools needed, some mineral code and how to assemble. I think the architecture is quite important to understand. We're going to be dealing with the Easy80 processor but this talks to another code processor which handles all the inputs such as the display, the keyboard, the mouse and any audio output and there's a very fast link between the two. The tools we need are Nano, which is a text editor, and Easy80 ASM, which is going to be the assembler that we use. Both of these can be found on the wiki page. As you scroll down, you'll find that there's third-party projects down here, and in here you have the Easy80 assembler, and within Aegon Utilities, there is the nano file here to install. Both of these need to go onto your Aegon computer. At the top level you should have a MOS directory. If we go into that MOS directory this is where you need to put the parts. So you should have um, the Easy80 assembler, two parts of that, the LDR and the bin file, and your nano bin file. So looking at the really basic text file you need to get started on our Aegon. I've got it on my PC at the moment, so we've got some colour code hinting to help us see what's going on, but we'll look at it on the Aegon in a moment. If I zoom in a little bit to the top, the first section here says that we're going to be working in ADL mode, which means we're using the full 24-bit addressing of the Easy80 processor. The next command tells us where in memory it's going to be stored. And then we start by jumping to the beginning of our program, which is here. There's also a bit of header information here that MOS needs to understand. So when we start, one of the first things we do is we store all the registers so that we can actually restore them back again when we leave the program at the end. Our actual code that we're going to write today is just this little bit here, but we'll come on to that in a moment. When we exit our program at the end, we will then restore all the registers again and we'll put 0 into HL because this indicates that we finish without any errors. So the actual program we're writing is very simple. You might not understand all of the actual um, mnemonics here at the moment, but as you progress you'll learn them all. We're going to load the HL register here with the address here of where we've stored some, some text that we're going to put onto our display. We're going to load BC with the length. In this case it's zero because we're going to delimit with a zero character, which is defined in A here. And the most important instruction is this one here, and that's going to send the actual command over to the VDP to process. So our data at the end here is string, this is a label which stores the address, and the data in bytes here, we've got our text, carriage return, line feed, and then the delimiter at the end of zero. If we go back to our Aegon computer, and if we go, I've got a directory listing here, and you can see that I've got a hello ASM file. We can edit that with nano. And here we can see the full listing that we saw on the PC, but it's in black and white this time. Um, scrolling down, you can see exactly the same code, the same structure to the file. So to assemble that, we type in easy 80 ASM, then the file name, and that will assemble it fairly quickly. It will create a hello.bin file, and that's the file that we're going to load and run. So we type in load hello.bin, and then run. There we are, that's our program, it's run, and it's done what we wanted, it just printed out a string of text. This might seem quite simple, but this I think is the real, the, the basic foundation of starting a Z80 program on the Aegon Lite. 